As a reader, I want to be transported to another world. I want to feel like a visitor in someone else's imagination. I want to build a summer home in Robin Hobb's imagination. Authors create worlds for us to visit. And I feel like there are some authors that just open a door so vivid and so rich that you want to come back to it time and time again. You want to, in their words, will feel like an old friend. And in their words, will feel like home. And I feel like Robin Hobb in the Farsi Trilogy may have done that for me. So, welcome to a review of The Assassin's Apprentice. Hello, welcome to my channel, Mary Reads to Live. Thank you for joining me. Today, I thought we would talk about an author that I have heard so much about and hadn't read before, which is Robin Hobb. And I started with her Liveship Traders trilogy. Uh, the first book called Live Ship Traders, or sorry, called <clears throat> Ship of Magic, sorry, uh, called Ship of Magic, and I thought, you know, this is wonderful. I love this writing style. It's beautiful. I love her, her writing. I love her characters. They're so deep, and they have uh, flaws, but then they also have all these hopes and dreams, and they're so real relatable and realistic characters, so I absolutely love it. But I just was informed that I skipped the whole first trilogy, which is the first year trilogy, which was set in the same world, I think. And I completely skipped it. And so I went back and read The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. And let me tell you, I started it. And that's, that is what we're going to be talking about today which is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I'm going to be doing a review of it, what I thought of it, and should you read it type of, of review. So here we go. First of all, The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb is a be is set in a beautiful world. It has a lovely world building. It has some in-depth characters, and it has different pe different cultures being in this world in different areas and you can see how they affect each other which is really interesting but what this this series does so well so far is really getting you an in-depth look into the main character Fitz. Fitz is the, when you meet Fitz he is a six-year-old kid who's grandfather takes him away from his mother which this is the very beginning so it's not really a spoiler and ships him off to be to live in the keep or to that is with the prince that is actually his father so he's taken away from his mother and he goes to live with the father he's never met he doesn't know and he finds out that he's the bastard son of a prince and this happens in the very beginning and in this world, the to be a bastard son is very dangerous, okay? Because you could go against the crown, you could try to get, um, you, tr you could try to, you could be a traitor to them to try to get thrown, all these kinds of things. So political intrigue, you can be used in political intrigue. But what they usually do is they take these bastard children and they turn them into a tool for the for the kingdom. They turn them into either assassins, things like that. And that's exactly what happens to this young boy called Fitz. And you follow his upbringing, his, his growing up in this story. He grows up in this story. He and At the end of the story, he is reaching, he's not quite, he's a very, very young adult um, at the end of this, at the end of this book. And I really loved the way Robin Hobb really get you invested in this character like you do not agree 
with a lot of his decisions. Let me tell you, he can make some bad decisions sometimes, but they are understandable and it really brings some depth to this character and he becomes so real and you feel so for him and you love his successes when he's able to do something. You're like, oh yes, go Fitz. You know, you love it. But there also the magic in this world. I don't want to spoil it for you, but the magic in this world is interesting called wit and it's called in the power right it is a, where they can um go into other people's minds they can use the power to influence people to speak in their minds and things like that and they can and there are people who can also go into animals minds and control some animals and it turns out and i love a good story with animal companions in this book so far had great animal some, some great animal companions but I will warn you right now, it'll break your heart. So, but so good. So worth it. Very well done. And when I finished reading this story, I felt like, okay, I want to go on, right? It, I felt like we were at a point to where Fitz was becoming more developed. He's becoming more of his own person. And then the next book, he's going to really, really go on to be his own person. And that's exactly what's happening as I'm reading the second book right now and it's so good and so we're going to talk about like should you read this book why should you read the Assassin's Apprentice I believe that you should read Assassin's Apprentice because the world building is gorgeous you're going to get invested in this world you're going to and, and you're going to get invested in the magic system which is very interesting and it's not completely new, but it's done in such a way that it feels new and fresh and interesting. The characters, bar none, she has some of the Robin Hobb has some of the best characters ever. And her writing style is completely beautiful. It is leaves you wanting more on the page, even though these books are not short by any means. It just leaves you wanting more words to, to just soak in and to spend more time in this world. And it is something that I really enjoy about um, Robin Hobb so far is that she is able to take these things which should not be that interesting, spend time doing things that are almost mundane, but she makes them matter. She makes them, you care about that. She makes you want to read more about it. And I think that, and that is what she's doing, doing through this entire trilogy so far. Now, what I do want to say that it's, um, think about it if you don't, maybe you don't want to read it, if you're sensitive to, um, animals being, you know, things happening to animals and things like that and children, it, it can be a little rough, so just as a, as a trigger warning and on that. And I think it can get, can get a little long for some people. So that might be a reason to, to keep it in the back of your mind um, on whether you want to read it or not. But I think it's completely worth it. I think the every word in the page has a purpose and, and it really draws you in. The characters that Fitz interacts with, his mentors are some of the best characters I've ever met in a book. And it's beautiful. And I do love the fact that we get transported into this beautiful world and in that we meet these characters and then we we meet even when we meet new characters those characters become just as important so i love the way that she has made this very interconnected world and i am so looking forward to finishing this trilogy and then reading the and then finishing the live ship trader trilogy as well because i have the second book to that and i need to finish it but i just wanted to come in and say that if you are thinking about reading a Robin Hobb, please do. I really want to encourage you to go to this world, enjoy this world, and just soak it all in because it is beautiful. It's some of the best fantasy world building I've ever seen. And she's becoming my favorite, one of my favorite authors. And I have never, I have not read her before I started these books, and I'm so glad that I did. So I really appreciate the channels that kind of brought this to my attention. Um, I really appreciate Philip Chase's channel and 
the literary apothecary really brought this to my attention as well so thank you guys very much that i really have completely enjoyed this and so i'm glad you brought this to my attention and i cannot wait to read more so just to let me know now as far as a star rating for this my star rating would have to be a five star it is i have enjoyed everything about this book it, i didn't i felt like it was the best from beginning to end and very few books are able to do that for me so definitely a strong five star and i really hope that you give this a try and let me know in the comments below what you've been reading and whether it's become one of your favorites or whether it did a good time or whether you um have some some feedback that you would like to give to the author so thank you very much and as always have an adventure with reading my friends bye bye Thank you.